Hi and welcome to my review of the goodies, the complete BBC collection. Today we are up to Hype Pressure. Bill and Graham get involved in the 1950s pop culture revival, but this time it's Tim who takes things way too far, somehow leading to a revival of World War II. Now the first thing I noticed about this episode was that Bill's got a new outfit. His uh, sort of um, baseball jacket and jeans. It's a much less 70s look for Bill. I kind of love, you know, classic Bill, the purple and white suit, the um, the suit from the previous seasons. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if I love this one as much. However, swings and roundabouts, Graham is now back in corduroy and that's something to celebrate. To me, classic Graham is Graham in corduroy. Another fun moment in this one was the boys referring to their real chart hits. I was kind of surprised when Tim is hosting a show called New Feces, and I think this may have been one of the reasons why this episode was not screened on the ABC in Australia when I was little. This episode really seems to have a much darker tone than usual, and in particular I was shocked by the dead comedian who was on the judging panel for Tim's show, and the shooting. I really enjoyed Bill and Graham's folk act. Another thing I was shocked by in this one was Tim frothing at the mouth. Tim is actually kind of scary in this episode. Something else which really surprised me in this one was Tim's beehive 50s look. He looks weirdly Marge Simpson-like here and I feel like this is another uh, instance of the goodies seeming to anticipate the Simpsons. I really enjoyed the bit of um, Graham trashing the sofa when rock and roll music drives him wild. We see Bill giggling once again in this episode at Graham's Muffin the Mule gag. I loved Tim's purple hat and his impresario outfit. It was fabulous. And I also really loved Bill's hippie outfit and Graham's hippie outfit. Another moment that really made me laugh out loud was Bill kneeing Tim in the groin. Now a standout moment of this episode for me was Bill's beautiful song, uh, Sing a Song of Flowers. This is an absolutely lovely track and to me it evoked that same sort of beautiful flower power quality of some, some of Bill's earlier music from the series, like the lovely song from Cecily, Are You Coming Out to Play? Um, and the Love Love song from Give Police a Chance. It's a really stunning track, even though it's used in a kind of throwaway comic uh, scene. And something else I loved in this episode was we glimpsed the special effects and models team. This episode's guest stars included McDonald Habley, Mary Malcolm, Corbett Woodall, Jack Anthony and Richard Pescud. I really don't remember this episode before. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen it before today. Um, it does have a very edgy and much darker quality to it than most of their other episodes. And a sort of um, reckless, anarchic tone to it, which is, again, quite different. I really enjoyed the first half of it, but I felt like at some point it just sort of goes completely off the rails. And I actually felt sort of confused story-wise about what was happening. And I don't remember ever feeling that way about watching a goodies episode. It is a really anarchic story. And I think if you enjoy um, very anarchic comedy, you would probably enjoy it more. But for me, I felt this one kind of started off well and just sort of really lost its way. Thank you so much for watching today. And I hope you'll join me next time when we move on to Daylight Robbery on the Orient Express. I'll see you then. Bye.